Hello friends, today we have uh, three words here, late, late, lately, hard, hard, hardly, most, most, mostly. Don't think that I am, I have done, I have done an imposition here, late, late. <laughs> this first late, hard, most, these are adjectives. And these adjectives, they have got two adverbs each. Adjective, you know, you can say like that, is late come up, it's a hard nut, and also most people. Most people. So that what you are doing is you are qualifying the nouns. And when we say here, late, lately, there are two adverbs. Uh, for example, you see, we, you say he arrived late. He arrived late. Means after the time expected. You expected a person to come at 4 o'clock and he comes by 9 o'clock. It's okay. At least he came. Yes. The train we expect at 2 p.m., but it comes by 10 p.m. Oh, all right, just come. That is itself is a great thing. Yes. So there's one meaning of late. As I do, after the time, after the time expected, after the expected time, the meeting was to start at your school anniversary. Your meeting has started at what time? 10 a.m. But it started at 12 noon. So that is late. Listen, late. And look at this example. This is the first example, second one. The, the tragedy, the tragedy took place, took place late at night. Now what does this, that mean? That means the time specified is night. The time to place at night. But late at night means towards the end of the specified time. Towards the end of a time specified. Towards the end of a time specified. That's the thing. Towards the end of a time specified. Night. So the, the tragedy took place late that night. Night is the specified time. At the end of that time, tragedy took place. Understand? Late afternoon, we say late afternoon. That means 7, 3, 30. Afternoon, late. Simple. So that is specified time. And uh, the next adverb is lately. Lately. I bought some books lately. I have no, sorry, I have bought. I have bought, sorry, I have bought some books lately. That means recently. Recently, and it is used only with the perfect tense. That's why I said sorry. I have bought some books. Some books lately means you lately, lately, the sense of recently can be used only with the perfect tense. Listen, I have bought some books lately. You cannot say I have bought, I have bought, I have bought. Some books, some books recently. This you can answer. You can only say lately. There you have to say I bought. This is wrong. You have to say I bought. I bought some books recently. This is correct. Understand? When you are using recently in the sentence, you can use only the simple past. If you are using lately, you have to use the perfect tense, although the meaning is the same. All right. So late adjective means late come up. Somebody comes. That is habit. Late adverb has two meanings. One is after the time expected, expected the train comes late. Then the tragedy took place means the time specified at the end. At night. Towards late at the end. Late at night. Now, 
Not when the time was young, when night was young, yes. Then I have got lately means recently. All right? So one adjective and two adverbs. Of course, there is difference. All right. Now you can see next hard. Hard nut. That means adjective. Hard nut. So this hard person means tough person, hard person. But when you say hard, First adverb, he said he works hard. He works hard. Means that's a good quality, you know. Working very hard. He works very hard. He, he works, I mean, he, he, he what he has uh, that uh, with all his might he is working. But when he says he hardly works, he hardly works, then there's the opposite meaning. Scarcely. He doesn't work negative. Negative meaning. He hardly works. He can hardly get up. He can hardly get up. Hardly is used before verbs. But if this is a common word, use it in the middle. For example, he he can hardly get up. See this. It's a common word. Can get up. So you are using hardly in the middle. Otherwise, hardly is used before, before the verb. Listen. He, he hardly writes anything. He hardly listens. Doesn't listen. He's always looking around. Like words of enjoying the beauty of nature. <coughs> he hardly attends. There's no time for attending. Yeah. Okay. And then, use before verbs. This is after verb. And this is in between, if, if it's a common word. It is, it is hardly raining. It is, it's ha, it, uh, it is hardly, hardly, it is, okay, then it becomes easy. Hardly raining. Means it's not raining at all. Is that clear? So remember, don't be caught. The one adjective, adverb means, it's a positive quality, working hard. The other is a negative quality. Alright? Very good. It rains hard means, <laughs> there is an expression like that. It rains hard. You know what does it mean? Heavy rain. That's the meaning. It rains hard. It rains hard means heavy, very heavy rain. Very heavy rain. A heavy rain after a tsunami. Something like that. Okay. And the next is most. Most is adjective, we have seen. And most, one, uh, first, uh, sorry, and the first adjective means, um, we, we can say like this, uh, what is, for the more, see, uh, you can say, no, I like, I like, uh, I like, what do you like? Apples. Apples most. That means to a great extent, a degree now, the degree level. So I like apples most. Some people would say I like strawberry most. Some others would say I like gooseberry most. Gooseberry, the small thing, full of vitamins, yes. <laughs> I am. I like. For me, I like gooseberry most. Means to a great extent, you can say. To a great extent, yes. Then mostly means uh, you can see you now the audience, the audience consisted of consisted mostly of children. That means most part, most part. That means. Uh, to a great extent. To a great extent. Understand? To a great extent. So, most means to a great extent. You can say it is an adverb of degree. And uh, the audience consisted mostly of children. Yes, we expected parents, you know, parent is the association, you know. So what happens is parents will disappear. 
and children will come. So the principle is the angry answer. The audience consists mostly of mostly of children. Why did this? Where have the parents gone? Nothing else. Understand? Yes? So late has got two adults. Late, late, late. This means after the time expected or towards the end of a specified period of time. And lately means recently. It can be used only with perfectness. What the meaning is recently, you cannot say I bought books recently. You have to say I have bought some books recently. I haven't seen him lately. I haven't seen him lately. Don't say I haven't seen him recently. If you are using recently, then use the simple past. That's all. It's simple. I haven't seen him recently. I have bought some recently. That's all. Second is hard, hardly. Hard is trap. It's a trap. Because hard adjective is a positive quality. He was hard. And then hardly is negative quality. He hardly works. Understand? Hard is used after the verb, hardly is used before the verb, but in a compound. Tense, middle. Okay. Then most, mostly, mostly is an adverb of degree to a great extent. I like apples most, I like strawberry most, I like gooseberry most, I like um, sugar cane most, I like cake most, whatever it is. See? I like uh, bitter gold most. Yes. And uh, then mostly means most part, most part of the audience. And then, uh, the audience consisted mostly of children, I guess. Also, mostly of children. Right? So, right? Any doubt regarding this? No. Okay, my dear friends, for the simple sometimes, you can, you can be, it's possible that you may get into trouble. That's why I thought of explaining this. I think you have enjoyed my classes. And if you have enjoyed, if you have enjoyed, you tell your friends also that studying grammar, learning grammar is something of something that gives great pressure and joy and enthusiastically you can study English grammar. Because you know what is the advantage of learning English grammar? Once you master it, it is always serious. Then you will, then naturally you will ask me, sir, what about other things? Yes, other things. But other things change. This till the end of the world this will be like this. Late, late, lately. Most, most, mostly. Till the end of the world. Not that next year there is a revision for this. No. That's what, is, uh, that's what I mean when I say once you master this years, there is some slight changes. Not in this case as well. So, for example, once upon a time it was, it was it's I, now it has become it's me. Not it has become by usage. By usage, so to say. But now usage is going to affect this. Understand that? So, enjoy. It's a lifetime pressure. Learning the English grammar is a lifetime pressure. So do it with enthusiasm, pressure, and then all your might. Right? So, see you again in the next class. Maybe day after tomorrow. Till then, enjoy your holidays. Relax. And also tell your friends to subscribe. Okay? Bye.